Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This is going to be our first big project for Building 7s. As you guys know, there's currently a pretty big issue in the world right now, which means we're not meant to be leaving the house or going forward driving or going camping. So the question is, why am I in the middle of the bush? Well, technically I am home. I'm lucky enough to be living on about 100 acres of bushland, which we film all of our Building 70s episodes on. So that's why you see so many videos of us just outside in the bush. Because of what's going on, we now have plenty of time to start building our track. And also this is gonna help greatly keeping the quality of our videos up over the next few months. So we will have plenty of sort of off-road footage and any other stuff that we need for the next few months and we won't be sort of going out breaking any laws like by going forward driving. Well what's the main point of building this track besides keeping the quality of videos up? Well we always wanted to build one because our block is pretty much just uh, flat bushland and we wanted a place to sort of quickly test our builds because we are a few hours away from any sort of decent tracks. This is pretty much going to be our own test track for our builds. This is where we'll be building the track. It is pretty much the only part of the block with a bit of hills, which will definitely help out with the track. We won't be taking down any trees. We're going to be using them sort of as obstacles. And the only ones we will be taking down are the ones that are already dead, that are sort of just sticking up in the air. Also, we don't want to wreck the track too much to the point where it's just going to destroy your car by the end of it. So, it's not going to be flat land, but it's not going to be like gunshot. To do all the shaping of the track, we got a hold of a case backer, which we'll be using for the entire build. So we don't want this track going too extreme. We're gonna to try to keep it at around about 100 meters long. Uh, that should be enough to really work with. So it's gonna start up here. and it's going to end up here. So I'm not sure if we'll actually follow that track. We might actually come across there and then actually cut around there and then come back in there, make it a little bit more interesting. So we are gonna be adding a fair few obstacles. Uh, most of them will be what you see on normal four wheel drive tracks and a few others won't be. Um, we've got a fair few logs that we are going to place on the track. Uh, I don't know how well it will work, but we have a few ideas on to sort of make a little bit of a different obstacle. Um, like I said before, um, we're not going to be doing anything like gunshot. We won't have it just dropping straight off, but we will try to make it interesting. Once we finish all the obstacles, we're going to get the 79 out here and see how well it does do. It's going to be pretty different to what we usually do on like 70s, but please let us know what you guys think of this and if you like the idea of us going sort of off topic and doing other things around sort of four wheel driving. This track build is going to have two more episodes after this. The next one will be on actually building the track and the third one will be taking the 79 for a drive on it. But don't worry, we're going to have plenty of other 70 videos coming up. We were supposed to do one this week, but the exhaust didn't come in the mail quick enough. If you like what we're doing uh, and you'd like to support us, you can get some stickers and some 70 series cup holders in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we shall see you in the next video.